Hi, this is Sahil Gupta from My Mobile Magazine. I am web controller and correspondent for the magazine, and today we are reviewing the Sony Xperia T2 Ultra. So let me unbox the device. Here we have the device. Standard Sony earphones. The USB cable. There's a power adapter and a couple of Sony manuals. Let's take a look at the phone. It's a six inch phone. Form factor is pretty nice for a six inch device because um, it's a really slim phone. It's pretty light and in comparison to other six inch tablets, I would say it's much more portable and pocketable. LCD screen, uh, there's a 720p resolution, but surprisingly, in comparison to other Sony phones, this has got great color fidelity. You've got natural colors out here, good viewing angles. Sony uh, uses its triluminous technology here, which bumps up the color uh, fidelity. Overall, I found the display to be very impressive for a phone of this class. Internally, there's a 3000 mAh battery. Uh, it's not user removable uh, because Sony is using a unibody design, but the battery life is very impressive. On the back, it has a 13 megapixel camera with a LED flash. Here, low light performance is decent. I wouldn't call it great, but it's decent. And for a phone of its class, the camera uh, reproduces surprisingly good images. For instance, take this, uh, take a look at this image. This is something I shot in my garden and you can see the detail and the impressive depth of field that this phone is able to generate, the camera is able to generate. So if we are talking about specs, this phone is not going to dazzle anyone. Because inside it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor, a quad core version of the processor which is the same version that we have seen in the Moto G. It has 1 GB of RAM and an Adreno 305 GPU. Overall the specs are not groundbreaking. It even has an Adreno 305 GPU, which means gaming will be okay. Uh, it won't be, you won't get class-leading uh, gra graphics for games, but overall it's decent for a person uh, buying a phone worth Rs. 25,000. In terms of form factor and build quality, this is a quite impressive device. Yes, it has a similar design to its elder siblings, the Xperia ZU, but the big difference is it has a plastic back. This means that this phone will not shatter if you drop it. You've got a multitude of ports. You've got this signature Sony radial power button out here, which really pops out. You've got a camera shutter button also, so you can control your camera using hardware keys. You've got the volume rockers. These are the slots for the twin SIM cards the 3.5 mm jack and this for your micro usb slot which can be also which also doubles as a charger and this for the micro sd card slot for a device that costs less than rupees 25000 this is a great option i would give it 8.5 out of 10